Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn how to use FTP with CyberDuck. So FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. And if you use your Mac for business, chances are you have to use FTP every once in a while. You can use it to upload files to a server or download files from a server. So you can use it to say upload files to a client if you're an artist or you can download files from a server, presentations, artwork, whatever. There's a lot of different programs that you can use to FTP on your Mac. Some of them cost a little bit of money. There's one that's really popular called CyberDuck that's free and open source. Let's take a look at that. So you can get CyberDuck by going to cyberduck.ch and downloading it from there. Once you've installed it, it will look something like this. Basically get a window here and there's a big open connection button in the upper left. When you click the open connection button, you can go ahead and enter in the information that you need to connect to the server. Usually you get this from the server's owner. So for instance you can type in the server name like ftp.example.com. Sometimes it will be a domain name like that. Other times it will be a series of numbers. Then you can type in your username also given to you by the owner of the server and the password. Now you also have to choose the type of FTP you're using. The default is standard FTP but there's also FTPS using SSL and there's SFTP. Both are more secure than standard FTP. And there's a variety of other options. You find out which one you're using from whatever server you're using. So once you've successfully logged into the server you'll see that the window looks like this. It lists the files that are in the directory that you've been sent to in FTP. Now you can navigate up and down the directory structure using the controls here at the top. There's forward and back like you would see in a browser. You can also click this pop up menu to go ahead and browse up as well. Uh, you can see the files here. Now to get a file transferred up to the FTP server it's well it's a Mac so you just click and drag. So here is a window with some files in it. I'll go ahead and drag this text file up there. It will show me the transfer data there. Close that and I can see now it is up at the server. To transfer it back down I can go ahead and click on a file there and drag it out to the finder the same way. So really once you've used CyberDuck to connect to a server it's all just about drag and drop. There is some functionality in the menu items for creating new folders and things like that. Sometimes you will have the ability to do that on FTP server. Sometimes you won't. Now some protocol when going and using FTP is usually you compress groups of files uh, using say zip format. You can do that by putting a bunch of files in a folder, uh, control clicking or right clicking on that folder and using the compress option in Mac OS X. You also want to go and make sure you email the person that you just FTP the files to because there's no automatic way for them to know that you've completed the upload. If you're having trouble connecting to an FTP server or transferring files it's useful to talk to the person that controls the FTP server and make sure that you've got all of your fields filled incorrectly and any special options set for that particular FTP server. FTP is also a great way to transfer files to a server that you control. So say that you've bought uh, hosting services from a company and you've been using something like Dreamweaver or iWeb to host your website. But you just want to upload a bunch of different files there maybe for storage or backup. You can use CyberDuck to log into that same account using the FTP information you get from that host and transfer files up and transfer files back. 